Whoa, guys, what on earth is going on? Why does Squidward look so scary? And why are SpongeBob and Patrick sleeping behind him? Joe, I seriously do not think that they are just sleeping. Donald, why have you gotten us to play this game? That one is easy, Barack. I remember Joe talking about how much he loved SpongeBob, and there is nothing that I love more in this world than seeing everything that Joe loves disappear. Oh, I am seriously going to enjoy this. Donald, has anyone ever told you that you are seriously demented by any chance? It is funny that you mention it, Barack, because I do actually remember one doctor who said it to me when I was young, but now that I think about it, I don't actually remember ever seeing him again after that. Holy crap, Donald! That doctor definitely got absolutely Goomba stomped because of him telling you that. Goomba stomped? Joe, why are you saying it's so weird? Well, obviously it is because we cannot say anything along those lines so early in the video, Barack. Besides, I have been watching the Mario movie recently, and it was the first thing that came to mind. Joe, shut up for a second. I think that this is going to be a cutscene. My name is Squidward, and I hate my life. I wake up every day, go to work, and come back home. That is a mood right there, Squidward. Donald, you're rich. Don't act like Nothing you share ever these problems. Changes. I'm thinking of killing myself. But before I kill myself, I want to kill the people I hate. Uh, guys. Is it just me or is Squidward about to roleplay the average American school? I can't stand working here. Everyone is so fat and unknowing. I don't care anymore. I'm going to kill all these people. Oh, hell yeah. This game is going to be fucking awesome. We're about to play the most Get extreme fishing game that you guys have ever seen. Wait, how are we supposed to kill them? I thought that we would have had a gun or something. Who needs a gun when you have mass-produced food that barely bastards. meets the legal definition of edible Joe? Can you even think of something that is even more American than that? Oh crap, the cops are here. Guys, what do we do? It's time I kill Mr. Grant. Oh hell yes, Squidward. Rise up against the greedy businessmen. Joe, I am literally sat right here. If you wanted to talk shit about me, then why not just do it to me directly? Donald, if even you classify yourself as greedy, then that is your own problem. It's locked. Where is the key? Ooh, ooh, I think that means that we need to look around for the key, guys. Oh, really? Wow, Joe, I honestly had no idea that you could have figured that out on your own. What made you come to such an intelligent conclusion? Oh, wow, Donald, it is so nice to hear you say something like that. Sometimes it really does feel like you think that I am stupid or something. Joe, I hate to break it to you, but he was being sarcastic there. They literally told us that we need to find the key. It isn't an idea that you came up with on your own. Oh, you guys are so mean. Why could you have not just let me have that one? I've got the key. Now shut up already, Joe. The time for complaining is over. It is time to swim in the blood of our enemies now. Donald, you become a whole ass different person while you're holding a gun. You're goddamn right that I am, Barack. Squidward, guns make me what feel is happening alive. here? It's not a gun. I came to kill you. And to take your money! <laughs> no! See you in hell. Oh, hell yeah. I fucking love the feeling of taking someone out with one of these all-American boomsticks. Donald, I am really starting to think that the doctor that you were talking about earlier had a point. Yeah, Donald. Besides, this boomstick isn't even all-American. I'm pretty sure that this one was made in the land of vodka and Counter-Strike. That is basically the same thing, Barack. Besides, we're free now, hell yeah. Whoa, guys, look, it is a newspaper about us. Oh man, I'd always wanted to be in the newspaper. This is a dream come true. Joe, you are literally the leader of one of the biggest nations in the whole world. You are not just in the newspaper, but you are in all of the news constantly. Wait, really? Oh man, I feel so special. How could I have not known about this before? You probably did know about it, Joe. You just probably forgot about it because you have a memory that makes a damn goldfish look like an intellectual. Donald, shut up a sec. I think there is another Breaking scene. news. A mass shooting happened today at Krusty Krabs. What the fuck? Krabs. It's a talking fish. Perpetrator Did you never watch SpongeBob, you idiot? Somehow managed to escape law enforcement and has kidnapped his neighbors, SpongeBob and Patrick. The Bikini Bottom police have reported that he is currently holding the two of them hostage and has threatened to kill them if they try to intervene. In other news, Chum Bucket has reported an increase in sales since the incident. Oh, huh, what the fuck? I was enjoying that. I cannot that. believe Squidward did something this bad. I, can I should go me. find SpongeBob and Patrick and help them. I hope I don't have to kill Squidward. Oh man, why did this game get so spooky all of a sudden? 
That is probably because this is the point of the game where we become Squidward's next victim. Oh no, is that true? Oh God, what is that noise? Why does it sound like someone is screaming? Donald, I am not sure that I like this anymore. Well, you'd better keep going, Joe. If you're not careful, then you could end up taking that guy's place. Ah! Oh God, please don't let that happen. What do I have to do? Donald, stop scaring Joe. The guy already craps his pants whenever just about anything pokes out of the dark. I don't need another phone call about how I need to come and pick him up because he was too scared to leave the White House with anyone else. You said that you would never tell anyone about that, Barack. That is fucking golden. You want me to call your mommy Barack for you, Joe? No, Donald, I do not. There is only one woman for me. Oh, yeah. And who would that be, Joe? Oh, you would love her, Barack. She is the type of person that would help the lonely kitten. Wouldn't you help the lonely kitten, too? What, what are you talking about, Joe? Oh, you should know, Donald. Why wouldn't you help the lonely kitten? Joe, I, uh, I think that you have forgotten your meds again today. Uh, oh, man, what just happened, guys? I got one hell of a headache. Ah! Oh, my God, did we just die? Yeah, Joe, yeah, we did. Oh, man, this is such a bummer. Am I right, Barack? Yeah, Donald, this is an absolute tragedy. We should make sure that we focus exclusively on trying to beat this game right now. Isn't that right, Joe? Oh, man. Hearing that guy screaming, though, is really putting me off. I think that we should just get out of here while we can, guys. Not a chance, Joe. We have got to go and save that guy. Come on, Joe. Don't you want to go and save SpongeBob and Patrick? Okay, I guess that you guys are right. Let's go and save them. Oh, man, I feel so hyped for this now. All right, well, right now we just have to figure out where Squidward is. Once we sneak past him, then we should be able to open that door in the kitchen now that we have this crowbar. Oh, I think that I can hear him. He is on our right, guys. All that we have to do now is just wait for him to go past the kitchen. Oh, you have got to be fucking kidding me. Did he seriously just go into the only room that we need to get to, to make any progress? It is fine, Barack. He probably will not be in there forever. We just need to wait for him to come back out and then we can slip by him. Oh, this is starting to feel like we are playing some goddamn Metal Gear Solid. This absolute bot of a cephalopod is getting absolutely clowned on right now. Cephalopod is honestly way bigger of a word than I thought you could understand, Donald. Not gonna lie. Holy fucking shit, what the fuck is going on over here? Ah! Oh my god, Patrick, no! Quickly, guys, how do we get him out of there? Why the fuck would I know, Joe? I guess let's just try following where the power cord went. Oh man, I'm so scared. I don't even know what to do right now. Yeah, I am not sure what to do either, Joe. I guess let's just stay in the closet for now. Donald, you have been in the closet for decades. Why are you wanting back in? Okay, fuck you, Barack. We going out and saving my boy, Patrick? Yeah, let's see what we can do. Ah, uh, idiot, run away. Shut up, you bitch. We Gucci. He is not following us. So the fuck do we do now? I mean, there is this electrical box here, and we got this crowbar, which we can use to open this shit box. Close it fast, Donald. Let's save Patrick. Kaboom, easy. Finally, I'm free. I got circumcised again. Ha 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 He said again. How dare you laugh at Patrick losing his PP, you little bitch. Be more respectful to him. Yeah, Joe, losing your manlyhood wouldn't be good for any human being. Unless you are Joe Biden. Hey, Sandy, fuck you, Donald. Thank you for saving me. You're welcome. Let's get you out of here. Okay, let's go. Let's go, and buddy. Us more, fat people Patrick, gotta look out for each other. SpongeBob? I think I did. Squidward took him to the living room. There was literally nothing in the living room. What the fuck is this idiot talking about? Yeah, he seems kind of shizzo. A what now? A shizzo, you know, now nah, you wouldn't know. Get on with the times, brother. We roll like this these days, my G. I know what it means, you fucking dementia brain fossil head. Close the goddamn teleprompter and stop asking your guys to what to say, you idiot. What teleprompter? I know nothing like that. Of course not, because your dementia ass brain can't hold any information for more than five seconds. Okay, fuck you, Donald. You owe me five double chocolate chip ice creams, now otherwise I'm banishing you from the country. First of all, you are not banishing shit while you can't even stand up still and not fall. Second, we finally saved Patrick. Our guy is out. Hopefully he lives happily ever after. Yeah, don't forget he said we need to go to Ah, the, the bitch is inside! Get the fuck out of there! Let's wait here until he comes out. That fucking possessed monster is blocking our way. Okay, okay, he out. Let's do this without getting caught, boys. We don't want to die by his weird-ass flute music thingy, right? He probably uses that for other activities, so I don't want to get the diseases he carries. Joe, shut the fuck up and run. He is chasing us. 
I'm so fucking confused on where we just came from, guys. Uh, where the hell are we again? What the hell are we doing? What are we even playing? This shit looks scary as fuck. How the hell can you forget already, Sleepy Joe? Is your fucking dementia getting that bad already? Are you for real right now, bro? This is what you get for eating a year's food worth of ice cream every day. I mean, it kind of makes sense if you ask me. Your body might not be able to live anymore without any ice creams, Joe. That's legit gonna get you in so much health trouble. Oh shit, SpongeBob keeps a chainsaw in his house? He's a mad lad, if you ask me. Who displays it like right in the freaking open? What the hell? Yeah, like who needs a chainsaw in the ocean? What the heck do you even use that for? Speaking of things that people need, Joe, you really need a health insurance. Shut the hell up and mind your own goddamn business. Or do you need a fist in your face? Is that what y'all need right now? Are you serious right now, bro? Like brew? Oh, cute. Gary's here, guys. And why don't you just shut up already, Joe? The more you talk, the dumber you sound. You're like it show speed right now with the bro shit you are yapping. I kind of get what you're saying, Donald, haha. -ha. But did y'all notice that Gary's shell is broken? Oh, shit. It was? I didn't even notice. Holy shit. Who would have done that to poor little Gary? I swear I'm gonna get them. Oh, fuck. What the hell did we get ourselves into? SpongeBob's freaking tied up like a sacrificial offer or something. Hey, Sammy, Let's listen for a while. Did you come to help me? Yes, SpongeBob. What is this machine? How the fuck should I know? Squidward put me in it. Then I think it's gonna split me in half. Sandy cheeks. I'm coming to clap those cheeks. He's coming, Sandy. You have to hide in the closet. SpongeBob, get ready to die. Squidward, no. Please, I will do anything if you let me go. Hum, squids don't have dicks. Get fucked, SpongeBob. Holy shit, this was Squidward's doing? I knew I shouldn't have trusted that long ass nose like Donald's. Oh really, shithead? Why don't you shut the hell up before I tie you up like how Squidward did it to SpongeBob, huh? Is that what you want me to do? Don't test me. Let's see you try, you orange duck. The more I look at it, the more I see SpongeBob's house in you because it's orange looking and definitely an orange. Ha ha. No one told me you played the role of a house. Oh shit, he's coming back again. Why is this hallway a one way only? We gotta hide for now. And shut up, Sleepy Joe. His house was an orange pineapple. Is your IQ lower than a young kid at this point? Shame. Okay, shh. Shut the hell up, both of you. Is this really more important than saving SpongeBob right now? He's about to die. Just listen to his scream. That's freaking heartbreaking. We gotta hurry up and help. Oh shit! He's screaming! Wait, let me turn on my teleprompter's volume. Give me a minute or so. Uh, where do I do that again? What do I need to press? Don't fucking ask us questions. We don't know you, dumb old fart. Who knows where the hell it is? And by the way, Sandy hiding earlier perfectly described Sleepy Joe. Uh, how the heck did it relate to Sleepy Joe Donald, huh? Enlighten me, this better be good. Uh, duh, because he was clearly hiding in the closet all this time, huh? -huh. Why didn't you get that one Barack? Are you also going dumb and dumber too? Are you Joe 2.0? Haha, -ha, took me a while, but good one, Donald. Now help me find the things we need if you guys want to beat this game. Uh, I think it worked. I think the water did it. It broke the thing. We just need to break the other one. Just a little bit more SpongeBob. Hold on now. Uh, guys, good news is that I finally managed to fix my teleprompter. Bad news is that I can hear SpongeBob's fucking screams. This shit is so freaking bad. And what did I miss? Not much. Just Donald making fun of you. And by the way, Joe, we put water into the left machine and it exploded. We just need to break the other one. Oh, uh, okay, okay, and uh, how the hell do we do that? Did you break this breaker thing? It's not on the right one. Shit, what the hell do we need? And please make SpongeBob stop screaming. This is making me panic. If it bothers you that much, then why don't you break your stupid teleprompter? And we don't fucking need to hide in the closet, Sleepy Joe. Squidward in this game is way slower than Granny. This is getting me some deja vu vibes right now. Yeah. Squidward was definitely taking his time off walking. You saw that shit earlier, Joe? He was walking along this hallway like a badass. Don't tell me you didn't notice. Oh shit, now I do. Squidward's checking out that area. We better not get close. Wait, what the hell are you guys doing? Shit, hell no, fuck this. Can we please just stay in the closet forever? Come on, Joe, stop joking around. You already got out. Why are you trying to get back in? 
and we're not doing something to your advantage. Of course, you'd like to stay in forever. You've been doing that till we did this channel. Ha ha. Oh, really, Donald? You're so funny right now. I just want to kiss you and make you shut the fuck up. I mean, punch and beat the hell out of you if you keep on talking. Definitely want to kiss you. I mean, not. What the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go find yourselves a room. Don't you dare do that here or I'll feed you both to Squidward right now. Just shut the fuck up and help me find what we need for the second machine. Oh, Squidward is on the move. I think he has a pattern or some sort. Phew, glad he can't hear our footsteps. That would be a lot harder if he did. And shut up, Barack. Uh, what? Why the hell are you mad at me, Donald? Don't act stupid, shithead. You were trying to ship me with Joe earlier. What the hell is wrong with you? Of course you support this behavior because you're already in a relationship with a man. Don't you dare bring my wife into this again or I will make you regret it. You mean your husband? Haha, <laughs> stupid simp ass for Michael. Okay, why don't you guys keep quiet? Shit, shit, shit. Where the hell did he come from? Just shut up and I'm sure that he won't do anything to us while we're in here. Why did you have to go and check, dumbass? We already saw him. Yeah, he was walking slow as fuck, but you just had to go and look. Ah, someone help me. Shit, he's gonna stab us with his big ass flute. Shit, ah, we just got stabbed. I didn't want to go out this way. This is all because of you, dumbass, and his laughing at us. Let's see you laugh when we do this run again. Okay, okay. We know what the hell to do now. I don't ever want to get stabbed again by Squidward. He's giving me Jeffrey Dahmer vibes. We just have to find the bucket of water and the wrench. That's it. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to freaking tell me. Watch me speed run this shit. I already got the bucket in my hands right now. Okay, got it. Now let's hurry the fuck up and destroy that left machine before Squidward gets back here again. What do you mean? Hurry the fuck up because he's on his way. And don't try to speed run this shit. Try hard, wanna be dream. This is not Minecraft. Oh, just shut up, you scared wuss. Watch me read and predict his every move. After he's gone, I'm gonna take the wrench and shove it up your mouth if you don't shut your damn mouth. Just you try, Donald. You do know that I have a nuke ready to launch at your house right now, right? And the best part is that you won't be able to do anything. Okay, stop with the nonsense bickering. Let's go out and check. Ah, shit. That scared the hell out of me. We don't have to save SpongeBob, right? Can we please just go out of this house and go home and have some popcorn to Netflix and chill? Where's your damn humanity, Sleepy Joe? And stop being a wuss, or I'll have Squidward knock at your door and eat every ice cream you have while being tied up like SpongeBob. Ah, anything but that, please no. God, please no, fine. Just be careful and be on the lookout for Squidward. I don't want to get stabbed by his flute again. What the hell did you just say again, Sleepy Joe? I let it pass me last time because I thought you were joking, but you really are dumb if you think that it's flute. Come on now, Sleepy Joe. We all know what that instrument is. We watched this shit while we were kids. I am sure you did. Yeah, of course I did. Me and my teleprompter against the world. And I am freaking telling you that it is just a big ass flute. Okay, okay, you really believe in this shit? Well, here I am, dumbass. That thing he is holding is not a flute. It's a, called a damn clarinet, you uneducated dweeb. What? Then my whole childhood was a damn lie? Oh, hell no, I ain't buying that, bro. Believe it or not, I don't care about dumb people anyways. Who cares? Anyways, I got the wrench. We just need to get back and break the machine or I don't know. Maybe use it for something else. Okay, I think Squidward is about to make a turn into that room we just went in. When he's in, run for it. Just wait for a while and count in your head. We can check to make sure, too. Yeah, yeah, I know what I'm doing, so shut the fuck up for a moment. I'm trying to listen. What are you listening for? Just peek already. I think he's gone. Shit, this is scary, but make a run for it. Hurry. Just go to SpongeBob and save his damn ass. Don't even think about looking bad. Crap, I'm hyperventilating. Phew, I made it. I think we use it like this. There, it worked. Now what? Shit, hurry up and just untie SpongeBob already. Wait, what was that big thud? Something's about to happen. Let's just watch. Look, Sandy. Squidward is here. He's being a menace right now. What a badass. Shut up, Donald. You ruined my plans again. This will be the last time. It's time for me to die. Oh, shit. What? Why did he do that? What the hell just happened? Wait, what, that's it? He just unalive himself? I mean, not that I care, but that sucks, to be honest. A round of applause for the devs' music taste and everything else. Even if that was just a short game, it still had potential in it. Glad to play it with you guys. Hell no! I ain't glad to see this shit just when I'm about to fucking sleep. Shove that opinion up your ass, Barack. Someone's about to have nightmares. 
Yeah, screw you guys for playing this. I'm going to bed already, and I'm going to have some ice creams, too. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, President Multiverse, or I will build a fucking wall around your house as well. Thanks. Donald, are you threatening people again? Shut up, or I will nuke you as well.